So we're moving over to the Dometic refrigerator. Uh, some nice little features on this particular product. First off, you can open up the refrigerator. Oh, there's me parsley. I knew I'd put it somewhere safe. <laughs> Do apologize. I'll put that back over there for my uh, for my fish later on for seasoning. Thank you. Right, so moving on to the opening, which we can do on the left-hand side of the door or the right-hand side of the door, should you wish to, which is ever easier. And the same also then feature applies on the freezer box that we have. You can open it on that side or you could open it on the other side, should you uh, feel that's more convenient for you. Uh, the door shelves, they do move into different locations. It's just a case of moving the door pockets. And my advice would be for when in transit that you don't carry heavy weights on the door pockets. If it's a liquid such as a six pints of milk located in the door pocket here, the bouncing around in transit can cause these pockets to uh, snap on the ends. So just be aware of it. Heavy weights for transit, liquid weights, put them onto the actual physical metal shelves. Um, but the actual operation of the refrigerator, uh, I'm going to turn the supply off. At the moment, we have got it working on an auto set, which is on mains electrics and at a fairly cool temperature. That is its coldest setting. But let's just turn it off. So I'm going to press the on-off button here. And uh, that light illumination goes off. And if I just bring that back on by pressing that button again, it's touch sensitive. It goes back to the last thing it was working from. This allows you to adjust the thermostat. And that allows you to select different products or different functions, i.e. am I going to use a laser battery, sorry, my vehicle battery for while in transit to freeze the fridge, or gas when I'm on site, or mains when I'm on site, or if you leave it on auto, it automatically selects between the three options for you. Uh, quite a nice little feature of that, because uh, sometimes we do get low voltage on uh, campsites, and if you've got it on the auto set, yes, it will select mains electrics first, but if you run, if the voltage drops below a certain level, because everybody's using mains electrics on site, it will automatically go over to the gas side of the system to keep the refrigerator cold, uh, so that you don't lose the uh, main supply. So quite a nice feature if you leave it on auto, when you're on site, it will automatically swap over to uh, the supply that is available. So to adjust the thermostat, as I say, uh, it's this thermometer switch here. And if you press it the first time, it just wakes it up. This is gonna probably be for winter use. Uh, and typically that will be for spring and autumn. And I'll say, hopefully uh, that will be the summer, but as we've not really had a fantastic summer this year, we'll say that's only applicable when we're in the south of France or somewhere like so. But uh, no, just uh, the higher the temperature, the colder the refrigerator gets. And then when we come to park the, uh, put the vehicle away, we might want to keep this door in a slightly open position to allow ventilation to take place. So we bring this little catch around here. There's four of them in total, two on one side and two on the other side of the door pocket. So if I come down to the lower section down here, that just pulls out like so. And when you come to put the door back, it just locks it in place, keeping the door in an open position. That allows the ventilation so you don't get stale air and you don't get mildew developing in the uh, refrigerator housing. So, Thank you for watching this video.